hello everyone adipasi here and uh, in this video i'm going to show you how to cancel a pending transaction in um, trust wallet so you can see that there is a pending transaction in this account uh, actually i was trying to upgrade this account uh, it belongs to my wife and um, i realized later on that the gas fee if you click on more details it will take you to Ethers can where you can see the details, you know, and also track the transaction. So you'd see that. Let me put on my Wi-Fi here. You would see that the gas fee is actually very low. Uh, the gas fee is what is taken by the miners who are those who you know facilitate these transactions. So if you come to Etherscan here. And you click on see more you can see that the gas fee here is you know 15 gray um how do i know that is low there are some sites where you can track you know you can track gas fees so in fact let me show you a simple way of getting there um, instead of going so you go through here to etherscan if you come to this um icon here under estimated confirmation duration you can see that thing like a dashboard on the right that blue icon is is going to take you to a gas tracker so you see here it's telling you the safe price for GUI. you can see that the safe price here is 48 they're proposing that you use 49 right now if you want the transaction to be picked up fast by the miners all right so um what i would do here is i would probably use 50 and uh, this this these prices are very uh, very very insignificant uh, the gas prices is different from the network fee so what i would do is uh, to cancel a transaction i actually need to what we are doing is we're going to create a new transaction to replace this one all right while this one is waiting to get picked we can create a new transaction mm -hmm that will um, replace this one and how do we do that you can see this nonce here nonce that shows three close to the bottom of my screen here um this is a transaction id in the trust wallet this nonce here so i'm going to create a new uh, transaction with the same number but with a higher gas price which means it's going to get picked up automatically um you know quickly by the miners and because it's using the same number it will automatically delete or override this one so that's the simple way um to do this so i'm going to take the nonce number here this is number three that's what i need from this um ether scan and i'm going to go back to my trust wallet and i'm going to create a new um transaction so let me copy the wallet address here you can just send or how we're going to it's just any transaction really you can send to any address but we're sending zero zero f um we just need something to cancel the penny one definitely you're going to pay the network fee i don't mind doing that go to settings at the top right and this is where you change you can see that this one has actually updated the gas fee the previous one was 15 I want to change this to 50 just to be on the safe side but I'm going to make this nonce um, 3 which is the nonce of the previous if you remember I'm taking uh, where is that now do I still have that yes so I'm taking this nonce here number 3 that's what I'm going to use it's like the id of the transaction inside my trust wallet and then i want to change this gas price to 50 which is above the recommended uh, price that you can see on gas tracker here oh it's even proposing 60 now all right so you can see all these things change um very quickly and that's why um one good habit is actually to check a good habit is to check the current recommended gas price before you confirm any transaction so just go to settings look at the price i'll just put it to 60 here it's very very minimal 
uh, and then I make sure the nonce is three. All right, I save that and I'm going to send. So what it's going to do is this transaction will replace the former one and um, it will basically overwrite it. It will overwrite that transaction and that's how we're going to get it um, cancelled. Okay, so let's just wait for it to load and go through. transaction error okay let me see it could be that the other one has Changing this to 60. Uh, let me 65. Then. Send. Okay. So that went through. So this is my new transaction. I replaced the former one, and this one is still pending. But it should go. Let me click on more details to see. So you can see I've replaced the pending transaction, and uh, estimated confirmation time is now 55 seconds. The previous one was showing me eight. Where is it? It was showing me eight hours. You can see this was the previous one eight hours and it might actually not get picked up with this uh, new transaction by the time I'm, i leave this page let me refresh and see because it's still pending any moment any moment from now this transaction will um will get picked up but once that is done you can actually go back to do whatever transaction you wanted to do before my money is still in the account and um oh you see so that is sent so the transaction has gone through you can see success i basically just sent zero ether to myself but i made sure that i increased the gas price so it gets picked up but I use the same number as the pending transaction I wanted to cancel. All right. So what I'm going to do, so that's how you basically um, cancel a pending transaction. If you want to go do a new, um, a new transaction, like I wanted to upgrade this account, which is what got me here. I wanted to upgrade this account to slot three on X4. All right um once i click ok here and confirmation it's going to take you to this screen all right so before you confirm on this screen you want to make sure that you go here and change this to what whatever is recommended to this that's a good practice to do you know i used 65 the last time and then so that's you just come and change this gas price based on what is recommended and um you know you will be able to do that so that's how you cancel a pending transaction and how you can ensure that your your transactions go through as fast as possible hope this helps thank you very much see you on another video